What's up, cutie pies? Uncle Jesse with your welcome. Time to do yet another break. eBay style this time. 2017 Panini Prism Football Hobby. Six box half case break number five. Like I said, it is eBay style. So uh, let's get it done. All right. So I do have the case here. And there it is. Unopened. So uh, let's change that. sports card freak and uh, I'm already picking out the half I'm doing right now which is going to be this half that I have here to the side this will be done later I believe tomorrow CBJ will be knocking this out tomorrow Put this here. Straighten that up. And as always, good luck, everybody. Let's do this thing. Good luck, guys. Go put your request in early, folks. Let's see uh, what else Jesse can do for you tonight. What up, Evan Games? How you been, man? Everything good? Been a while. Thought you forgot about me. Come on. see what we got here hey there you go Evan that's a good excuse to uh, forget about me TJ Logan of the Cardinals to 275 well Lucas said the the impeccable that we have in the store hasn't been moving uh, and truth be told we, we don't really do much soccer stuff um, Trying to get that put up on eBay though. Carlos Henderson of the Broncos autograph to start off the autos. Nothing there. What's in this? We have OJ Howard of the Bucks teal. That's the 199. So did anyone watch that new Thor movie? I'm just, I'm just curious. For the Jets, Jordan Leggett with the auto. Go. 
We got some gold action. Our Darius Stewart of the Jets. That's number to 10. Lamar Miller, Texans to 275. Nothing there. Khalil Mack, Raiders to 275. For the Jets to 149, our Darius Stewart with the auto. So far, a Jets box right now. Nothing there. For the Colts to 9 9, Dante Moncrief. <laughs> well, he's an eagle right here. Sidney Jones to 99. So we can make that an auto for you later. Jimmy Graham of the Seahawks to 199. Keep it moving. To 149, Ben Roethlisberger, Steelers. Nothing here. For the Vikings, Adam Thielen to 275. And that's it for the first box. So first box out the way, let me uh, put some of these base cards away. <coughs> Take a sip of some water. Box number two. About to see some heat basketball, baby. Let's go heat. Because the Dolphins definitely are not root. Uh, I'm always root for the Dolphins, but damn, man. So, Evan, you, you going steady with this girl now, or what? You know, since, since you forgot about me. Malachi Dupree of the Packers to 99. There you go. Got an Eagles hit for you, Dylan G. Derek Carr to 99. 
Barry Barnett of the Eagles to 149. Dolphins aren't worse than your Browns. Oh, Chris, unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. But, I, you know, I, I don't think we're too far behind you, honestly. Uh, I'll say this. I like the Browns' future a lot more than I like the Dolphins' future. You know, Deshaun Kaiser's a good quarterback, man. You just got to give him some, some weapons and an O-lineman to, some O-lineman to block for him. Ryan Tannehill, the Dolphins to 149. Browns have some good pieces, man. David and Joku is a sick tight end. So they, they got some they got some pieces, man. I like Duke Duke Johnson at running back. There's some good pieces out there in Cleveland. You just gotta put it together. So Mike Perrano, the Redskins autograph. For the Giants, Wayne Gallman with the auto. What else we got? The Aaron Rodgers Illumination insert. And then Robert Davis of the Redskins Teal. That's to 199. Browns have some good defensive players. Yeah, they do. Miles Garrett being the the main one. Brendan Marshall, the Giants, to seventy five. Well, the you know, seeing as how he was the first round pick for him. Isaiah Ford of the Dolphins, 275. It'd be nice to see him take the field at some point this year. See what we got in him. Damon Harrison of the Giants to 199. For the Bengals, Andy Dalton to 199. Let's keep going through them. Zach Ertz of the Eagles to 275. Second box down. Got the third one right there. Let's put the base cards away though. Man, that was a sick pass by Dion Waiters, man. Let's go, boys. Run that fast break. All right, I need to grab some more 400 count boxes though. I agree, man. I agree, Chris. That's I feel like that's what happens in in Cleveland is that often they don't give time to to let the players develop. You know, and a lot of that is coaching and stuff like that, too. But, um, I don't know, man. They got some good pieces. They just got to work to to getting better, man. And you got to change the culture out there in Cleveland, you know? Everyone in Cleveland is used to being losers. Because that's all they've been doing is losing. So they need, they need to get a coach in there or something that's going to change that identity there I don't think the current coach is the is, is the guy to have
Oh, I see Panini points. It's going to be 150 of them, so take them out now. I feel like they did that to prove a point, Chris. One, he hasn't really been doing well this year. Uh, two, I, and I think it was done to send a message. Uh, I was talking earlier in the in the room how I read an article where Coach Gase was saying how you know there's three hotheads in the locker room: himself, Coach Gase, uh, Jay Ajayi, and Jarvis Landry. So, I, it kind of feels like it was basically a move to, to, to just say, hey, look, I'm the coach now. If you, don't like thing, if you don't like the way I do things, you can just get the fuck out. And that's kind of what it feels like, honestly. It's kind of just like, because we got nothing back. We got a fourth round pick for him, bro. Like, we should have got at the least a second round pick for him. Desmond King of the Chargers with the auto to 75. So that that's kind of what it seems like to me. It seems like the team is trying to send a message to everybody in that locker room. Like, look, guys, anybody can get it. Anybody can get gone. Uh, we just got rid of our best player. So what do you think we're going to do for you? You know what I mean? So that, that's kind of what it feels like to me. That's why uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious and I'm interested to see what we're going to look like on Sunday because last Thursday it just looked like you know we we put in no effort it, it didn't look like we wanted to be there same thing when we lost to the Saints uh you know it was just straight up a lack of effort if you put up a dude like how do you not score a point in the National Football League like you're a professional team and you can't even manage a field goal That is that that should never happen. Yeah, the offensive line is awful. Uh with the exception of our left tackle who's pretty good, uh Tunsil. You know, he's in a he's only in his second year. He's probably gonna be a pro bowler. But everybody else in that O line is terrible. You know, we don't give the quarterback time to to, you know, let the play develop and find his target. Or even, you know, giving lanes to the to the runner to run the ball. And some of that has to do with the running back vision and things of that nature, the play calling and that. But still, man, the O line's getting no push. So that's kind of what that feels like, man. It, it feels like it was just a move to shake up the locker room and be like, all right, so who's next? You know? Terrell Suggs, Ravens, 275. We shall see. We shall see. So Tyler Eifert of the Bengals to 199. There, Deshaun Watson of the Texas to 275. Sucks what happened to him, man. Out for the year. Eddie Lacy of the Seahawks to 275. Nothing there. All right, so we got three left now. It really is, man, because he was having, he was on pace to break like every rookie quarterback record there is. You know, he what I think he's at like 19 touchdowns right now through seven, eight games. He was on pace to shatter that record.
We got two boxes left. I'm on box number four right now. He tore his ACL. Tore his ACL. In practice. I mean, is it just me? Or have there been like a lot of superstars getting injured this year? It's just me? Come on, Ra Ra. Think about it, dude. Aaron Rodgers, JJ Watt, Deshaun Watson, Odell Beckham Jr., Eric Berry, all gone for the year. All Pro Bowlers. Some of them future Hall of Famers. Gone for the year. Damn, Ra Ra. Okay, so I see what kind of mood you're in today. <laughs> I guess, right? That is true. They are playing a pretty violent sport. Forgot about David Johnson. That's another one. What else I got here? Got some purple stuff. Jameson Crowder of the Redskins to 75. I mean, listen. There's There's been few players that, you know, have played a career without much injury in the NFL so it's not like losing a player to the, to the entire year is like oh well yeah you know oh it was bound to happen okay here's there's that one all right cool let me know there's you know now there's a there's a lot of you know medicine and blah blah, blah to help the athlete recover and things of that nature, so, I don't know, it just seems to me like there's more injuries this year. Josh Reynolds of the Rams, auto to 149. You raise a good point right there, Chris. You do raise a good point right there. Ryan Switzer of the Cowboys to 25. Bruce Ellington Niners to two seven five. We have Reuben Foster of the Niners to seventy five. Got Marquise Lee of the Jags to 99. The National Flag Football League. That, that might be more fun to watch. No, it won't. I like seeing people get knocked the fuck out. But it's not so much fun when it happens to you. Paul Perkins of the Giants to 275. Yeah, so did I, Ra Ra. So did I. I stopped playing my freshman year. Fuck that. You gotta be kind. You gotta be like something's gotta be wrong with you to play football. Like honestly, like you gotta be like kind of a masochist, and not kind of like you. You must be a masochist to play football. Quincy Wilson, Colts. Yeah, fuck that. I got my first uh, concussion freshman year. And uh, I, that's when I knew this is not for me. So we got a redemption here for the Bucks. O.J. Howard. Very nice. What else we got here? We got Marshawn Lattimore of the Saints at 275. 
that's what I I was so was I Ra Ra so was I you know and I played multiple positions you know until it was late in the season and then coach was like all right let's see what we got for next season you know because we were losing a lot so started you know mixing things up and I was doing a punt return when I was never on special teams you know I was already playing running back safety linebacker and now they want to meet on, on kick returns too so I was like man whatever did it and on the very first play I got knocked the fuck out by my own teammate and that's when I realized this is not for me because if my own teammate doesn't give a fuck about me what's the other team gonna do to me oh no for me it was all about playing the game you know it was all about having fun, you know, with the homies, playing some foosball. My goal was to ball out. And I did. And I was for a little bit. Until I got hurt. And then I played out the rest of that season. But I, I didn't even bother going to spring training or anything like that. And I'll never forget it. First day of school, sophomore year. Coach hunted me down, and Coach was like, "Where are you? Where were you in the summer? Where have you been? Are you playing this year?" And I was like, "Nope." He was like, "What happened, son? What happened, son? When did you turn into a little bitch?" Verbatim. And I was like, "Well, honestly, on that kick return when that motherfucker knocked me the fuck out, and I got a concussion. You remember that? Because I don't." And he shut up. He didn't say nothing. And then he was like, well, listen, son. If you decide you uh, you want to play, we always got a spot open for you. And, uh, yeah, no thanks. You played nose guard? Nose guard? You, they, it's, I wouldn't say that's the easiest position. Uh, they do get knocked around a lot. Um, but, you know. With that, you got to worry about people falling at your knees and your legs and stuff like that. I was a big dude, but I was fast for my size. And I was very, you know, very shifty, very, very mobile, like extremely athletic for my size. Like I was a big dude, but I was fast. And, you know, that's why they had me playing multiple positions. And I could do it like I was in shape you know for the most part in high school but I, I just I couldn't take that concussion bro like that concussion really changed me like never in my life and dude I've broken bones you know what I'm saying and and I've been in some pretty serious accidents myself but getting a concussion was not cool at all bro because I don't remember the rest of that like I remember the hit I remember falling and then after that I don't remember anything else like, I don't remember getting home. I don't remember, like, nothing. I don't remember nothing from that day. So, that's why I was like, you know what? I'm not going to play this. Like, I was I was legitimately scared. I was afraid. And, uh, you know, a sport should not make you scared. Like, a game should not make you scared. So I don't know how some of these guys do it, man. Playing football, like you, like you gotta be, like there's gotta, like something's gotta be wrong with you, like for real. Demarcus Walker of the Broncos with the auto. It's it's a, it's a very violent sport. Or maybe I'm just a pussy. You know, there, there's also that. There's also that. And I'm fine with admitting that. You know, I have no shame. Martellus Bennett of the Packers, two ninety nine. Right, that's my thing, because, like, I could have kept on playing, and no lie, with my athleticism, I probably could have got a scholarship to play in college. I probably could have. Um, you know, I was already, even my freshman year, 
I was already getting recruited by the University of Central Florida and small schools like that, you know, out in Tampa, the University of South Florida. So I was getting offers as a freshman. But, uh, yeah, obviously go Hurricanes. Uh, Gary and Conley are the Raiders. So football came easy to me. It was just, again, that head injury really, really, really fucked me up. Oh, oh, shit! Kareem Hunt for the Chiefs auto. That's a big-time auto right there. That is nice. That is nice. Not numbered, unfortunately, but still very nice. I, you know, I don't regret quitting, but it would have been nice to not. If I had never gotten that concussion, I would have kept on playing. Mind you, I played football with a broken arm. I played football with a broken pinky. I played football with, with a cracked rib. I, you know, I went through my fair. Like, I can deal with, like, I could, I could deal with bodily pain. But when it starts to affect my brain, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I made that decision very early in life, and I decided football is not for me. You know, I don't have many brain cells, so I, I do got to protect the very few that I have. Really, Chris Fitz? Well, I used to play basketball too. Um, the worst injury I ever got playing basketball was... Uh, the occasional uh, sprained ankle, but pff, that ain't shit. My all my injuries came from playing football. But it was the it was the concussion that did me in. I'm already I'm already stupid as it is. I don't need that to get worse. Helio Linux flashing threes. This Heat team is going to be nice. Last box mojo, y'all. Good luck. Travis Kelsey of the Chiefs to 199. LeBron's about to get 50 points. Well, he, he, he's, he might have to do that every single game this season because that Cavs team just looks terrible. Nathan Peterman Bills to 199 there. It's a shame about John Wall is kind of a polarizing figure to me. Like, he's so talented. Like, he has the talent to be the best point guard in the league. But he's not. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's Washington. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know, man. I feel like he really needs to get out of there. Could just come to Miami, dog. Come to Miami. Chad Williams of the Cardinals, 275. 
He may not be a good shooter, but that's about it. He could do. He could do every. He can get any shot he wants, whenever he wants. He can shake his defender. He can get space. He may not be the best shooter, but he could get to the rim whenever he wants. And that's what I want for my for my point guard, Jamal Adams Jets. If he was, I would I would be, I would surround John Wall with shooters. And you know, so he, so we can do kind of like a a drive and kick game. You know what I mean? Surround him with shooters. You know, have a big man like I like. Who who's Gortat? I like Gortat. Gortat is nice, solid defensively, and offensively he's decent. Beal is a shooter, yes, streaky but a decent shooter. Otto Porter, not so much. Great athlete. But uh, can't really shoot the ball. I wouldn't call Bradley Beal trash. But I would definitely call him streaky. Streaky for sure. Marvin Jones Jr. for the Lions to uh, 75. Bradley Beal has nights where he'll go off for like 40 points. And then the next night he'll put up like 10. <laughs> <laughs> James Conner of the Steelers with an auto. Beal, exactly. So Beal has 31 tonight, but watch what he does tomorrow. He probably won't do shit. Well, tell us how you really feel, Chris Fitz. Brandon Hoyer to 25 for the Niners. Derrick Rose looks good tonight. What? I never thought I'd ever hear those words. Uh, together in a sentence. Sammy Watkins of the Rams to 149. Well, I'm your man when it comes to basketball, rah rah. Artavis Scott Chargers autographed to 149. Lay it on me, and Uncle Jesse will hook you up with the scouting report, my man. I know my basketball, baby. Well, listen, D. Wade doesn't play defense anymore, and Jr. never played defense. It's a shame about D. Wade, honestly. Like I'm looking at D. Wade this year. And he doesn't even look like like he doesn't even look like the same person. One, because I don't know what the fuck he's doing with his hair, but like his game, like he just he doesn't look like D Wade. I know he's old, but he he does not look like Dwayne Wade. Like I don't see him, you know, trying to attack the rim, a slash, play off the ball. At least on defense, he would, you know, if he's having a shitty night on offense. You know, he would turn it around, you know, playing defense or, or, you know, getting other players involved. I'm not seeing that this year. And I follow D-Wade because, come on, man, I'm a fucking Heat fan. And that's, you know, even though he's not playing for my team, that's my dog. That's my boy. You know, I'm going to root for D-Wade. I may not root for the Cavs, but I'm going to root for D-Wade. And it's, a, it's, dude, it's a shame, bro. Uh, you know, I thought he could play a few more years, but I don't know, man. The way he's looking right now, he he might just fuck around and play one last season, and that's it. Like, I feel like next year is going to be the D-Wade goodbye tour. You know how, like, like Kobe had his goodbye tour? I feel like they're going to do, like, a lesser version of that for D-Wade. All right, so we're going to recap this. Before I do the recap, though. We got to random this 150 points. You think it may be this year? I don't know, man. I, I don't think so. I think he'll play out the rest of this season. Uh, I don't see the Cavaliers making it to the finals, honestly. Um, so, I, I don't know. I think he'll play out the rest of the season, uh, sign with the Heat next year, and just retire. You know, he's already coming off the bench for the Cavs this year. So, he's, you know, he's already been getting accustomed to playing that role. So next year, he's going to come into the heat, retire, 
And you know who knows? We might make a play a deep playoff run with him next year. Who know? Who knows? I mean, this year's Heat team looks very, very good. Very good. Uh, I I do like the way the team looks. We have straight athletes. We're very young. Um, it was his choice to play for the second unit, but you know it, it was a choice long coming. It, it should have been done, honestly. All right, let's do this uh, random here. So we're going to go six times in the random. Uh, I need to grab all the teams. So let me do that here. It's kind of like, I remember when, when Kobe started to show his age. And that was sad to watch, man. Like the end of an era. Like watching who, who used to be like the most dominant player. At one point in the league, and now he's kind of, you and you know, and now he's just a shell of himself. Except the Thunder, Chris Fitz. Except the Thunder. All right, we're going six times. Top team gets 150 penny points. Good luck. Four. And the money shot coming up. Good luck, everybody. It's going to the Lions. Going to the Lions. Uh, where's my post-it notes? All right. So Panini points going to the Lions. The Thunder are looking scary, too, man. The Thunder are looking real scary. They're playing team ball out the gate. Westbrook already took that. You know, he, he took his, his hit more or less with, like, shots or whatever. But he doesn't care, man. That guy's that guy's an animal, dude. It's like you said. He's going out there putting up triple doubles against everybody. LeBron's at 57. How, many t how much time is left? I would like to see him hit like 70 points. That would be cool. Uh, Artavis Scott Chargers. Connor Steelers. Adams Jets. Hunt Chiefs. Conley Raiders. Walker Broncos. OJ Howard Redemption for the Bucks. Wilson Colts. Reynolds Rams. Dobbs Steelers. King Chargers. Gallman Giants. Perrine Redskins. Uh, Barnett Eagles. Stewart Jets, Leggett Jets, and Henderson Broncos. And that, my friends, was 2017 Prism Football Hobby Half Case Break. I believe it was number five. And yes, indeed, it was number five. eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.